Well, hello there. Welcome to today's session. I have a little bit of cardio and some weights strength training for you today. So compound, some compound moves. So you're going to need a set of weights, get a light set of weights, a medium set of weights. If you don't have weights at home, you can use soup cans. So we'll be doing multi-joint exercises. So it hits lots of different muscle groups and burns lots of extra calories. So everything's all good. So stick around and we're going to get started. So I'm not playing any music today. So just add your own and we're going to get started. So let's just do some taps to the side. Can you hear me okay? So remember, thumbs up. And side to side. And I'm going to reach up and reach. And reach, keep it going. And let's reach forward. And I'm going to do both arms and press and press. And then just marching, let's march it out. And we're going to lift those knees. So lift up and lift and lift. So hold your core tight when you're lifting. Keep it going. We got four more. And three. And two. And one. Let's do a heel dig. So heels and heels. Just heel. Keep it going. We got four more and three and two and then one more. And let's do go into the um, swimming <laughs> bit of arms, warm up those arms. Here's my cats going through <laughs> and the other way. And I'm going to reach across and pull back. Reach across, pull back. And reach, and reach, a couple more, and then the other side. So we're going to go here, other side, and reach, warm it up, beautiful day out today. I'll have to go outside for a walk later. And I'm just going to reach forward, hinge at the hip, so we're here, hinge, and then just pull up. So make sure you're at the hip, not the just reach out and then pull up. Oh, it feels good. Reach out and then pull it up. Reach it out, pull it up. So let's do a little jog in place. You can keep it low impact. I know we could go crazy now that we're not in the studio. <laughs> we're gonna go out, out, in, in. Kind of like that little football. And you're a football player. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lead off with the other foot now. So that will feel a bit weird. Okay, going into some squats. So feet are hip width apart. We're gonna squat down and then back up. So make sure your squats are good. Sitting bum goes back, chest is up high. Hold your core strong so that you don't hinge too much forward. If you're like, you don't wanna be like this because then you're just working the back of the legs. Let's try to work those quads and the hamstrings, the glutes too. And keep going and down and down. Everybody looks fabulous. Let's do a couple more. And standing up tall, I'm going to open the hips up. So balancing and just on one leg. So open and then down. Open, so balance, if you need to hang on, you can do that. Open and then down, open, down, keep it going. And other side. So core is engaged, slight bend in the leg, and we're opening and then coming down. We're 
looking good. We're awesome. And let's do two more. Two more. And one more. So let's do a little jog. Let's come forward and then back. I have to be careful my carpet doesn't slip out on me. So, so it's good to go backwards too because that helps to prevent against falls, doing all different angles. So let's do different angles. Let's go this way, sideways and then sideways. Let's go the other way. I can't go very fast over here because my carpet will slip and I'll fall. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go forward again. So you can be really low impact like this or you can jog it. And two more. And this is feeling good. One more. Okay, we're awesome. Okay, stop. We're just gonna reach and reach. Nice and tall. Keep it going. And breathing. And reaching forward again. So I'm gonna go right into a cardio round. I'm gonna start doing some boxing. Everybody's feeling warm now, right? So I'll just do a whole bunch of boxing moves. Our heart rate's gonna get up. So just punch out and come back in. So when you're punching, it's kind of pull it from the back. So it's not like this. <laughs> just punch it out, pull it back in. So let's go jab, jab, double jab. Two, one, one, two, two, one, one, double, one, one, double, one, one, double, one more, <laughs> one, one, double. We're gonna do a hook and a hook. So around, like right in the side. So I pivot my hip a little bit. So a little bit of power, my heart rate's starting to come up. Go, go, looking good. You're looking awesome. Four, and three, and two, and one. And let's do speed bag. So little punches, chest out, shoulders back. Core is engaged. We can do this. Go, 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 let's go up high. Go down low, up high, down low, up high again, down low. So I started to feel my shoulders too. Make sure your chest is out, shoulders are back. You don't want to be rounded because that's going to hurt your neck. One more. And I'm going to here, I'm going to cross and cross. So I'm pivoting and pivot. So tap, if it hurts your knees, just stay straight, you can stay straight. So here, down, so we'll do a duck and then cross, truck, cross. Breathing, cross, down, cross, and cross. Four more, three, two, one. Back to speed bag, okay. Starting to feel cardio, who else is too? <laughs> it feels good, right? Woo. I know we haven't been able to do cardio at the studio in so long to keep things safe, but at least we get to work out. So that's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go uppercuts. So we're here, we're gonna go belly and belly. So it's coming forward. So like right in someone's belly, but don't really do that. <laughs> so I'm punching out, pulling back. This is making my heart rate increase. So you can make, like, you can do it easy, or you can go lots of energy and protect yourself. <laughs> Let's go eight and seven, six and five and four, three, two. Anybody ready for jumping jacks? Should we do it? We haven't done them in so long. Low impact like this. 
If you're new, then low impact. If you're good to go, kick it up. So do what's right for you. Keep going. Oh, eight, seven, six. You know that's actually 16. Five, four, three, and two, and one, and stop. We're gonna do a squat down. We'll grab a wire in a second, knee up. So squat down, knee. So I'm gonna lean back a little bit like this. Down, core is engaged. And then we're going into a kick. Down, knee up, kick. Down, so bring the knee first and then kick it out. So down, kick. Down, down, kick. Keep going. Is your heart rate up? Mine is, yes. Go. And go. I'm feeling my legs now. So you can almost do like a drop down, kick it up, drop down, kick it up. My quads are feeling it. I'm gonna do four more. Three, so you're kicking with your heel. Two, and one. Air skip, almost there. Feeling good. Feel like a good 10 minutes of cardio and this is awesome. Keep it going. And we're just gonna reach out and pull back in. Reach out, pull, reach out, other side, reach. Two more. And grab some water. And your heart rate's up right now, so just walk around, have a sip of water. And we're gonna go to our weights. So grab. Your heavier set, grab a heavy set of weight so it can be like a 10, 12, 15 pound. So I'll do 30 seconds on the clock with 10 seconds rest. We're gonna do um, multi joint, so it's a bit of coordination. I'll do a lunge. Um, if you're, oh, first of all, if your knees are bad, you can do a squat. Let's just do lunge and bicep first. Lunge and bicep. And then we're gonna do a deadlift. And then we'll add on from there. So let's do the lunge with the bicep. We're gonna do 30 seconds. We'll be changing legs, lunge, bicep, deadlift. Let's go. So lunge back to a bicep, or you can lunge and then bicep at the top. That might be easier. And then bicep, lunge back, bicep. Lunge back, slow and controlled. Bicep, core is engaged. Lunge, bicep curl, and lunge, bicep curl, and lunge, bicep, awesome, stop. The next one is the deadlift. We're just gonna hinge at the hip, and then come all the way up. So let's do that, hinge, and then come up. Hinge. So you wanna protect your lower back, you wanna make sure you're hinging at the hip. Maybe just come down to your knees. And if you can go lower, you have to make sure your back stays flat. If your hamstrings are tight, you won't be able to go too low. Down and then lift. And then down. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do lunge, bicep, and overhead if you want. Lunge back, let's go. Lunge, bicep to an overhead. If your weights are too heavy, then skip the overhead. Down, lift. It won't be too many, so we're almost done. 10 more seconds, lunge back. <clears throat> Again, you can do squats, it's okay. Lunge back. Okay, next one is deadlift. We're gonna add a row to it. So there's, we're layering on. So we're here, we're gonna row and then come back up. So stay down, row and come back up. Stay down, low, row. So for your upper back, 
down, row. Keep your neck straight too if you can, and row, and then down, and row, and lift, down, row, and lift. Stop. I'm gonna do one more round with like the whole, the whole thing. So let's lunge with the bicep overhead. Let's go. Lunge back, bicep overhead. Lunge back. Keep everything strong. Just long control. And lift. Lunge back. Good for the balance too. Hold your core strong. I am sweating now. Anybody else? Oh. Almost there. And stop. We've got the deadlift. There's only 10 seconds rest in between. How are you doing? <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. Deadlift. So down, hinge, row, and then come back up. Hinge, row. Always keep your neck straight. Down, row, come back up. And then down, row, come back up. Couple more. Row, come back up. Down and row, and back up. One more, last one. How's everyone feeling? I actually feel that in my back. So grab some water. And we are going back to a cardio round. 30 seconds on the clock. So jacks for 30 seconds or jumping. Elbows to knee for 30 seconds. You can do a little hop if you want. And then skater side to side. We're doing that two rounds without stopping. If you need extra break, take it. That's fine. Um, keep it low impact or kick it up. It's up to you. Who's ready? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. So start with um, jumping jacks in two, one, let's go. So low impact if you want, or jump it up. It's looking awesome. Still going. How's everyone feeling? Good, I hope. <laughs> Almost there, three, two, one, stop, next move. Elbow to knee, you can keep your hands up here. Elbow to knee, so a little crunches for your core. Ready, in two, one, and go. If you wanna hop, you can, or just keep it low impact. Your heart rate's still gonna go up. Mine's going up already. We're gonna, we're gonna be so tired, <laughs> right? Keep it going. You can do it slow, you can do it fast, whatever works. Keep breathing, do not hold your breath. Three, two, and one. 10 seconds rest, catch your breath. And we are gonna go into the skaters. So side to side, and let's go so side, side. You can push off if you want. Drive those arms through, the bigger the arms, the more cardio you're gonna get. But if you're new again, then just go side, just okay, keep it low impact. Go, we could do this, five seconds. This is feeling good, I like it. And stop, we're gonna do it one more round, who's in? Yes, good, jacks are next. Catch your breath. If you feel dizzy or anything, take a break. We're going into the jacks. Here we go. You can jump or not. I better not jump. People down below will be bad. <laughs> Keep going. Looking good, looking awesome. 10 more seconds. You've got this. Keep pushing through. Three. Two, one, rest. Elbow to knee is next. This one here. Make sure your core is engaged, your shoulders are back. 
and go. And you can do a little bit of a, a little bit of a hop or a little spring in your step. You don't actually have to jump or slow. Just lifting your arms overhead is going to increase your heart rate too. We're here. Three, two, one. Last one, skaters, can you do it? It's feeling good. Get ready. Three, two, one, side to side. Keep your chest up, shoulders are back. Nice and tall. You don't wanna be like this. Tall, pushing off. So try to push off with the side of the legs. Looking awesome. Breathing. You're good. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. You did awesome. Woo! So grab your water. Um, next time we will do longer, longer ones. <laughs> okay. Okay. So your heart rate's up. We are going to do um, grab lighter weights. Or if you don't have light weights, you can grab soup cans. So we're going to do lateral raises to the side. And so is this move here, shoulders are back. And I've got, if the weight's too heavy, you can actually bend your elbow. So I'm going to lift. I have a little bit of shoulder injury still. So, and you don't want to lift it. You don't want to lift it up high. It's just below your shoulder. And make sure you're thinking shoulders are back. If you're rounded, you're going to go into your neck. So let's just do a few of these to start. So lift and then lower down. We're going to lift and lower down and lift, lower, lift it up and lower, lift and lower, four more. And three, looking good. And two, and last one. I'm gonna go into a front raise from here. So feet are hip width apart. I'm gonna do single, one at a time. Again, make sure your shoulder is way back. Chest is out, lift, and then lower down. Try to concentrate just on the shoulder cap. So you just wanna feel the shoulder, that muscle doing the work. You have to pull the lats down and back. We like it, we're doing it. Oh yeah. Ooh. And lift. Everybody's feeling it. You, if you have really light, you can do both together. So like this, and then down, you're gonna feel it in your core a lot. Two more. Uh, one more on each side. Oh, I can feel it. We're going into a tricep kickback. So this guy, shoulders are back, arms are up. Oh, we'll face this one and then out and then back in. So you're only hinging at the elbow. So let's go. And you wanna make, we're hinged forward because of gravity and lift. If it hurts your back though, you can do the overhead one like this. It's fine. We'll do that in the second round. The overhead and lift and lift. I'm feeling my triceps, anybody else? Breathing, keep your neck straight. Belly button's in, chest is out. Let's do one arm at a time. I like it when you do one and then I can extend it a little bit more so I can really feel this. Can you feel that? One at a time, extend, hold, and extend, hold. Oh, it's burning. I'm gonna do four more, four and three and two. Woo. And last one. This is working. <laughs> Stop. Um, I'll do the, the lateral raise again, and I'm going to add a plie squat. So we're going to be like this. Let's hold the weights here down, and then I'm going to lift up. Okay, so everyone's good. So plie, feet are wide, come up, and then shoulders are back. Just lift. You don't want to swing the weight. And again, if the weight's too heavy, then put, put it down, grab some soup cans, or you can do down, 
Put out weights here. Down, come up and lift. Nice. Everyone's like so beautiful. You look like ballerinas. <laughs> and lift. And lift. That's the only thing about being being online. I miss all the all the talk and the comments when we're in class. Lift. I'm gonna do two more. And lift. And one more. Looking good. Woo. Let's do the front raise. Shall we add a squat with it? I don't know if that's gonna work, but let's hold the weights this way. I'm gonna squat down and then either let's do one arm if you have heavier, or you can do both down. So I've have that different grip now. Down or both arms. Lift. I can definitely feel it in my core. Down low. Lift up. Remember when you're doing your squats, sit the bum back. You don't want to be forward. Yeah, looking good. Down. And lift. Down. We should do more, right? Should we? My head's chopped off. <laughs> and down. And lift. Couple more. And we'll do one more. And I could definitely fill up my core too, last one. Um, triceps, either overhead or the kickbacks. So overhead looks like this with one or two weights, lift and lower, or we can do the kickbacks. So take your pick, I'll just do it so you can see me. So my shoulders are down, or you can go back to the kickbacks. Well, it looks like everyone's doing the kickbacks. So there's that one or this one here. Squeeze and squeeze. I can feel this. Helps with those, those wings on your arms. <laughs> Breathing. Let's do one at a time again. One and down and one. And one. And one. Looking great. And still going. And I'm going to do four more. Four, three, two, and one. Probably hear the dogs barking outside. Okay, put the weights down. Um, grab your water if you want. We'll just do some standing core and then we're stretching and we're good. How's everyone feeling? Is it good? Yes. So standing core. Actually, if you want to hold your weight, you can. Let's do Power position, shoulders back. I'll just do twist side to side. I just have my lighter weight, but you don't have to have a weight. I'm gonna twist at the waist. So I'm not doing this, just the waist. Now, if you want, with or without the weight, you can go out, out. If it hurts your back, don't go out. And then, so I can feel this, oh, I can feel this a lot in my core and then in. So out, just really mindful. If twisting is not good for you, don't do the twisting. And yeah, if it is twisting is not good, you can even just do this again. Four more. Oh yes. And three. And two. And one. Let's go into the like a figure eight. So I can feel this is obliques. So make sure you're not doing the arms like this, you're actually doing your core. Side to side, side to side, looking good. Four, hold it strong, you still have to hold it. Three, two, and one. Let's do one more thing. <laughs> so we're gonna go um, elbow to knee. Let's do a bit of a twist and lift. So we're reaching up. Twisting, lift, core is engaged, same side, lift, let's go. And side, and side, so lots of balance here. If balance is hard for you, you can hang on and you can just do this without the weight. You can come up and down like this. Four more. 
and three. I'm feeling this and two. So I'm holding my core and everything really strong and other side. Make sure you're feeling those muscles because if you just do the moves, it, I'm not doing much right now. So you wanna walk in and then, so I'm really crunching my abs. And of course I'm gonna feel my hip flexor too. Lift and lift. We are so awesome. I can feel this. Let's do four more and three and two. Oh, last one. And my arms are getting a workout too. That was so awesome. Ladies, looking good. Let's just stretch it out. How's everyone feeling? Feel like you had a workout? Yes. Um, inner thigh. So let's just come to the side and then the other side. We'll just do active stretch. Get that heart rate down a bit on this side. Oh, this feels so good. Didn't it feel good to do cardio? It's like, yes, <laughs> side and side. Let's go into a hip flexor. I'm gonna turn and just push that hip forward. You can open up the chest like this, breathing. And then we did all that jumping. So let's drop your heel down, stretch out your calf and then hold from here. So here, let's hold it and then let's roll it up and we'll turn other side. So hip flexor, you're gonna drop this knee down, push this hip forward. If you sit all day, you're gonna be, might be tight in here. Some people are tight, some people not. You can pull the shoulders down if you want. Stretch those out too. And drop your hand to your knee. So heel comes down. And then coming all the way up and let's go into the hamstring. So I have my heel hinge and just hold. Feel that stretch right back here. Yeah, heart rate starting to come down. Roll it all the way up. I'll do the other side. Heel come down. That feels good. And then coming down, roll it all the way up. Let's reach up really high over, really stretch out the lats in the side of the waist. Oh, come up tall and then tricep. So just stretch that out. And then we'll do the other side, reach up all the way. And coming up tall, the tricep again. That feels good too. And then we're gonna hinge at the hip and come forward. So just at the hip, as long as that's okay. If you have osteoporosis, not a good idea to do the forward flexion. I mean, we do need to hinge forward to pick things up, but come all the way up. I'm gonna take my arms around a barrel, tuck under, so bad posture. <laughs> so I can feel the stretch in my back and through my upper back. I'm gonna come in. And I'm gonna do one more, out. And then come back in. And we are gonna take a deep breath, all the way up. And down one more time, nice deep breath. And woohoo, give yourselves a hand. You did fabulous. So. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had a great workout. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also check out the links below for um, my group. I want, I'd love you to join. I'm here to help you be fit and fabulous after 50. Um, also check out my walking workouts. They are super popular, easy cardio. Um, today's session was a little bit higher intensity, but um, great for getting your steps up. So check it out on one of the links here and I will see you in the next video.